Hey fam, what's up? It's April. Today we are taking a little tour of my bookshelves and I'm going to show you all of the books that I plan to reread and annotate because in 2018 I started rereading my favorite books and annotating them and there's a bunch that I still want to annotate. So I thought it would be fun to just like go around my bookshelves and show you all of the books. And it'll be a nice little chatty video. So let's do this. So these are my bookshelves. Uh, these two are rainbow. Uh, that one in the corner is kind of just random. And then we have a series shelf. So we'll start over here and just move our way across. So honestly, most of these series are ones that I want to reread and annotate. I mean, I have the whole series for a reason. So uh, we need to reread and annotate this iconic series. That just needs to happen. And I'm also going to be rereading all of the uh, Shadowhunter books next year. So I'm actually going to um, reread one a month starting from February, starting with City of Bones. So you're more than welcome to join me. I might post a schedule somewhere, um, but yeah real excited. Then I started rereading and annotating the Harry Potter series but I only did the first two so I really need to do the rest. Then moving down here I reread and annotated all of my Throne of Glass books but I still need to do my A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Also hi bae. Then down here I really want to do the Shadow Me series but I'm debating buying the first two books in hardcover first just because I would really like having the whole series in hardcover but yeah money is a thing. And then we also have this series that not many people know about. This is the Delta Request series by Emily Rodder. It is by a really famous Australian middle grade author. And this is the series that got me into reading when I was 10 years old and I'm obsessed with it. I've reread it multiple times, but I really would like to annotate them. Then I guess we'll move down here to my weird skinny corner shelf. I would really like to reread Anne of Green Gables. I'm not sure if I would do the whole series, but I'm definitely gonna do the first book. Um, and I think I'll do it in the Puffin in Bloom edition. And then we've got my Outlander series. I've only read the first four books in this series, but I have the anniversary editions and the TV tie-in editions, and I don't know which ones I want to annotate. I, I think I might do the anniversary ones, just because, I don't know, they'll be nicer to annotate. But yeah, I want to do those as well. Then moving up... Um, we have some classics. I have only read a couple of those and don't want to annotate them. Okay, yes, Jane Eyre. Okay, I'm leaning towards annotating this edition. Hang on, let me show you. This edition is so pretty and there's quite a lot of room to write. So I'm thinking it'll be this edition. Otherwise, I'd probably do the movie paperback. I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts. Which one should I annotate? Okay, moving into my rainbow, I would really like to annotate Afterlife of Holly Chase, which is a new favorite of mine. But um, before Christmas next year, I really want to purchase the hardcover first because the books that I want to annotate are books that I want to keep for life. So I really want to have nice editions of them. Oh, this one, I really, really want to annotate Turtles All the Way Down. I just related to so much of it. And I think there would be some amazing quotes in there. Moving across, definitely want to reread Everything Everything. Tyler Johnson Was Here is also a potential one. I think there'd be a lot of important things in there to annotate. Then, of course, we've got the iconic To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy. Definitely rereading and annotating those. Pride and Prejudice, of course. Under Rose Tainted Skies is another one that I really related to. Um, it's about our main character who has agoraphobia, which I have had multiple times in the past. So I would really like to annotate that. Oh, this trilogy by Holly Bourne. The first book is down here. Am I normal yet? Um, definitely want to reread and annotate this entire series. It's all about mental health and friendship and family. And it's just amazing. The Princess Diaries. I really want to at least annotate the first book. It is just iconic. All right, moving down and across. Oh, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet is one of my favorite books of all time. I really want to get the hardcover of this edition, but it is like out of print and really expensive to buy. So uh, 
if any of you have a spare copy lying around, I will totally give you like $50 for it. The Mara Dyer trilogy is definitely another one. First book is down here. Um, I just loved it so much. It had such a big impact on me when I read it. So I would really like to at least do the first book in that series. The Humans by Matt Haig, one of my favorite books of 2018. Definitely that one. Moving across, Feed by M.T. Anderson is another one that I would really love to annotate because it just has so many things to examine and analyze. And this book, it blew my mind, basically. Oh, all of Becky Albertelli's books. Oh my gosh, all of them. I really want to get Simon and Leah in hardcover as well but we broke in this house the hunger games trilogy is another one that i will definitely be rereading and annotating along with strange the dreamer moving down this shelf definitely leah on the offbeat the hating game and i reread and annotated the gentleman's guide in 2018 noteworthy by riley redgate would be another one. Oh my gosh it is such a good book uh, along with The Female of the Species, another one of my favourite books of 2018. And The Kiss Quotient, oh my gosh, one of my favourite romances. Okay, we're down into the orange section. The first one, oh, definitely Homegoing by Yard Jesse. What an incredible book. Anne Frank's Diary of a Young Girl. This had a super huge impact on me as a kid. Oh, Prozac Nation, I've already got a ton of tabs because I related to this book so much. It's all about having a mental illness in the 1960s and what a lack of help and resources that they had back then. The Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher. Her poetry in the middle of this book is the best poetry I've ever read in my life. And I was so shocked. It was so unexpected, but I really would like to reread and annotate that. The Hate You Give, I'm actually rereading and annotating this in January because the movie comes out in Australia at the end of January. So this one is happening soon. Oh, here's Simon. The Handmaid's Tale. Oh my gosh, this is another book that blew my mind. Would definitely like to do a reread and annotate that. Alrighty, moving down. One of the ones that really stands out is Talking to My Country by Stan Grant. This is written by an Aboriginal man and it just... Oh my gosh, so many truths in this book. Every Australian should read this book. The Book Thief would be another one. Here's The Hunger Games, which would be another one. Moving across, Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. Probably the best Jane Eyre retelling that there ever was. That will be another one. Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This book is one that I would really like to repurchase in hardcover to annotate because it's one that I want to keep forever. Oh, The Fault Now Stars. Of course, this needs to be one of them. And then lastly, we have Before I Die by Jenny Downham, which was one of the first YA contemporary books that I ever read and I've read it so many times. I really, that's what really made me fall in love with YA. Oh, I also forgot over here that I would definitely reread and annotate the Across the Universe trilogy. I can't believe I missed these. Um, this was the first YA sci-fi that I read and this is another book that really got me into YA and yeah I just have a lot of connections with this. I don't know I just really really loved it and I think that's about it. So obviously there's a lot and I know it'll take me longer than just 2019 to reread and annotate all of these books but I just would love to do it so that I just have that collection of personal books that I will keep forever that will forever have my thoughts and feelings on them written in the pages. I just think it'll be amazing. Anyway that's it for this super random chatty video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon in a new one. Bye! -bye.